In a big one tonight, the Ghana Beyond Aid Committee has demanded an apology and written explanation from the one who was taxed to produce the artwork for the cover page of its charter and strategy document. In a letter addressed to one Richmond Bansa, the committee lamented the action of the designer has brought serious embarrassment to President Sekufwadu, who launched the document on May 1, as well as a senior minister who heads the committee. The committee wants the said Richmond Bansa to explain why he used a picture from Kenya for the cover of the document. The Ghana Beyond Aid Committee, led by Senior Minister Yao Osafumafo, in a statement on Friday, said it had come to its attention that the cover photo of the document emanates from Kenya and that the committee apologizes unreservedly to the president and the nation for this error and takes full responsibility for it. It said it is ensuring that the cover page of the document is replaced before it is printed in bulk. The cover page of the document depicted high-rise buildings over green landscape, but the image turned out to be from Kenya capital Nairobi, with one of the buildings inside being the headquarters of Dawit Insurance in Nairobi. But the MP for Kumbungu in the northern region, Ras Mubarak, wants members of the Ghana Beyond Aid Committee to resign for using Kenya's skyline as cover for the Ghana Beyond Aid Charter. So let's stay a while longer on this story and speak with Member of Parliament for Kumbungu, Ras Mubarak, who joins me on the phone. Good evening to you, sir. You're live on News at 10 on TV3. Why the call for all the 20 member committee to resign when they have duly apologized? Well, thanks very much. Um, I'm sure you might have seen the comments from um, Ghanaians across the country. Uh, this is an incident that has exceedingly embarrassed all of us. It has made Ghana and the people of Ghana the butt of public jokes, not just within Ghana, but also across the world. And I'm sure you might have seen online comments from Kenyans as well, who are bashing us left, right, and center and mocking us. Ghana is a beautiful country by all standards. There are beautiful landscapes that could have been used you know, beautiful skylines that could have been used for that particular purpose. And if you look at the caliber of people, you know, who are on the committee, one, one wonders why such a monumental, you know, such, a, 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 such an a, a egregious, you know, a blunder would, would, would occur. And clearly for me, to have allowed His Excellency the President to launch the program with a Photoshop you know, skyline from Nairobi clearly is something that, that is unforgivable. And that is why I am of the uh, view that the entire membership of the uh, committee, if they are honorable enough, would, you know, uh, tender their resignation so that um, His Excellency the President would have an opportunity to um, uh, appoint others who would, who would have a keen eye to detail, who would pay attention mm. to detail, you know. Mm. And look, I've, I've also seen comments from members of government attempting to downplay it. But clearly this is not something that they can downplay. Mm. Um, the argument is that, well, it's just a cover page. But, well, indeed, you know, uh, the document couldn't have been launched without a cover page. Yeah, so, so you know, this is not the first time 